Hey guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we have an official statement from Activision about the 2020 Call of Duty Mobile World Championship. About time, guys. It was leaked over, well over a month ago. It was originally planned for early April 2020, and then nothing happened. It was leaked from the Twitter leakers, but nothing official was actually announced. So today we have a statement, official in-game announcement, but also a Reddit post from Activision official. So today, everything you need to know about the upcoming tournament, guys, it's about to start in about a week. So let's get into it. Before we start, don't forget to smash the like on that video and subscribe to the channel for daily Call of Duty Mobile videos. So here's the official post on Reddit, posted three hours ago as I'm recording this. There was a lot of hype today on social medias, the Facebook, the Twitter, and now the Reddit. So they finally announced officially the 2020 Cut Mobile Championship. So uh, it's sponsored by Sony Xperia. And if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see that they will be giving another update next week. And mark your calendars, guys. April 28th will have more details. But for now, bookmark these websites. I will put the link in the description down below. So first of all is the mobile esports website and the mobile esports blog post. First thing you guys need to know though for today is the tournament will be starting April 30th uh, and will be starting with a stage one qualifiers. Guys, remember when it was officially leaked, it was going to be a multi-stage tournament. That was one of the first leaked images on Twitter about a month ago. It was supposed to start early April, but you see the stages there. So first stage would be solo tournaments. And then if you qualify, you move to the next round and will be a team tournament and then regional qualifiers and regional playoffs. So multi-stages and you will get rewards on each stages, even just for signing up, you will get rewards. Now the rewards are not official yet, but we have seen leaks also of the golden stuff, uh, knife, weapons, backpack, even a soldier. Uh, and it looks like the zombie rewards where you collect fragments or you collect shards. And when you have enough, you can redeem for a tournament prize. So in the official Reddit post, they do not mention if the first round will be solo here, but they say it will start with stage one qualifiers. One more thing, any participant must be 18 years old or older. And that is new. Uh, we didn't know about that before today. Now more details on the official esports website. Uh, stage one, again, open online qualifiers. And there you have more details. You need to be ranked veteran or higher to enter the tournament. Now on how it works, you can enter every weekend. There will be four qualifier weekends. When you sign up in the tournament, your next 10 games that you will play rank will count in your tournament. And you will earn points in your first 10 games of the weekend after you sign up. Now as you play, you will gain points depending if you win, but also depending how good you do in your 10 games. So you will score points. And if you can pass 80 points over 10 games, you will be qualified for the second round. You will also gain rewards depending how good you do. But once again, you will also get reward just for signing up. So if you just lose your 10 games and you don't do good, at least you get something. Now more about the rewards. They say you'll get registration rewards just for entering, progression rewards while playing, and qualifiers to stage two rewards. If you get past 80 points, you'll get something extra. Now one more thing, very important. They say stage two and beyond. They say stage two will require you to form a team out of those qualified players. So they don't say that you have to play solo in the first round, but they also don't say that you cannot play as a team. So I guess both will work, but if you get past stage one as a solo player, then you don't have a choice to get a team for the next round. So that might be a little complicated for some players. Now, once again, maybe you cannot play as a squad for the first round. We'll have to wait, guys, for more details next week. Now, more information, they say come back and check out this website later, guys, for more information, more about the rules, but also cash prizes. We'll be able to win money here and uh, how to watch. It will probably be streamed on some social medias, I'm guessing YouTube official, probably Twitch maybe. So we'll see, guys, but make sure you check it out again next week. So what we learned today, first of all, it is 18 plus to be part of this tournament. If you guys are under 18, you'll not be able to compete. Well, maybe you will be able to enter still, but if you ever go higher in the rounds, 
Uh, and if you win, you will not be able to receive cash prize. Now, one more thing on the older Twitter leaks, it really said solo on the first phase uh, online qualifiers. And then on the second phase, it really said team up. So uh, we'll have to wait for more official news, guys. But it really looked like you'll have to qualify playing solo squads in ranked again. So, uh, yeah, you depend on your teammates a little bit. But we'll see uh, next week for official updates about that one. But that's that was my first feeling, uh, first time I saw that. Anyways, uh, and then yeah, like just you can just compete and get some rewards just for signing up. So pretty excited for that one, guys. So come back again next week, guys, for more details. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more official news. And uh, yeah, check out the link in the description, guys. Make sure you keep an eye on that next week. April 28th and that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment below how you feel about all that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.